Hey there chameleons, it's Camille and today we are trying out an Olaplex dupe I found online for $7.85 compared to the Olaplex kit that costs about $136 so we're gonna see if it works just as well. with Olaplex, it's a bond multiplier that reconnects disulfide sulfur bonds in your hair during or after bleaching or processing, which pretty much means it helps prevent damage while you're bleaching or, or dyeing your hair and then it also helps restore the bonds in your hair and re-strengthen it after the process. So this is a huge staple in the hair community, every salon uses it it's pretty much a staple when you're bleaching your hair to prevent damage. But the only problem with the product is that it is so expensive and you also can't buy it as a consumer. So you're only allowed to buy it if you have a license and you have a salon and you can also get it online like black market type stuff, eBay, you know, but it's also really expensive still. So I tried it personally. I bought it on, I think it was eBay, and it was like $136 for the little travel size. So it comes with a step one, that's the part that you mix into your bleach and dye, and then the step two is what you put in your hair after to help reconnect the bonds. Olaplex also has some products at steps three through six that aren't actually part of the system. It's just more maintenance stuff like shampoo and conditioner, but the actual things that will help during the bleaching process are steps one and two. And if you've seen my previous videos and bleaching videos, you can see that I use the Ion Absolute Perfection Kit and that's another Olaplex dupe. I've been using it for a while. I think it's just as good and I really like it. And that costs like $7.19 on Sally Beauty. So that one's also really affordable. So I definitely recommend that. But I decided to branch out and try some other products because you guys asked me for other recommendations. You asked me about specific products. So I am here to tell you the tea, to tell you what is up and to just try it myself. So today I'm going to be trying out the All Hair Defender Plex. I'm not really sure if that's how they were meant to say it because it says like All Plex in large letters and then Hair Defenders in like really tiny letters, but that's kind of the order. So it's either All Plex Hair Defender or All Hair Defender Plex. I've seen it written as All HD Plex online, so I'm just gonna call it that. And it also comes with Two steps, just like Olaplex, you mix step one into your bleach, and then step two is what you put in your hair after washing it out. The set also comes with a pamphlet with a bunch of instructions on how to use it. So I read this already, and I'm just gonna give you guys the highlights. So it says that step one, the bond maker, builds and enforces strong structural bonds, protects hair from breakage, and helps protect hair damage caused by chemical treatment. It doesn't interfere with the chemical service undertaken, no adjustment to the process time or application, which is different from Olaplex, because when you mix that into your bleach, you have to increase the developer that you're using 10 volumes. So if you normally use like a 20 volume on your hair and you use Olaplex in it, you have to bump it up to 30, but this one says that you don't have to change the developer. Step two, the reinforcer is applied after, and it says it contains high performing activities and was developed in a creamy texture for easier application. The bond reinforcer stabilizes the bonds, deeply nourishes, seals the cuticle, and protects the hair for long lasting color. It is not a conditioner. Good to know that. Today I'm also trying out the Schwarzkopf, Schwarzkopf, Schwarzkopf bond enforcing bleach. And someone recommended this to me in one of my bleaching videos or one of my hair dye videos somewhere. And I scoured the internet, I scoured my comments to try and find who recommended that. I cannot find it anywhere. But someone, one of you guys recommended I try this bleach. And when you did, I added it to my Amazon shopping cart and eventually I was like, you know what? Let me buy it and try it. So that's what I'm trying today. This should help with the lift and we'll see how well that works and we'll also see how my hair feels and how the bond reinforcer works for the like fake Olaplex thing. I also got the developer from the same line. This is the 30 volume and I got 30 volume because my roots are very dark. I have dark hair, but I also don't want to burn my hair off and fry my hair. So 
I'm not going up to 40. I'm not touching 40 anymore. I have pledged not to do that. So I'm using 30 and I don't have to bump up because it's not Olaplex. It's fake Olaplex. So you can leave your regular hair volume. So let's get started on this. The instructions say to mix bleaching powder with the correct peroxide slash developer as usual. And the bleach ratio recommended on this product is one to one and a half up to one to two and a half bleach to developer. The next thing it says is add one milliliter per 0.034 ounces of step one to every 10 grams per 0.34 ounces. Is that not the worst instructions you've ever read? It actually at first glance looks like it's divided by, but I think they also mean AKA, so the slash is not divided by. It's just a conversion from milliliters to ounces. But my next question is why did they use milliliters, grams, and ounces? Like that doesn't make any sense. You have to pick one unit of measurement to compare the ratio to, and for some reason it says one milliliter to every 10 grams or you could do 0 0.034 ounces per every 0.34 ounces. But I looked it up and one milliliter is equivalent to one gram. So why would they not just say one milliliter to 10 grams or one gram to 10 grams? But either way, if you do the conversion for milliliters or for grams or for ounces, you get the same thing. It's a one to 10 ratio. And that's based on whatever unit of measurement you prefer. So I'm going to eyeball it since I don't have my scale. I don't know what happened to it. I think I packed it away in the storage unit before I moved to LA. So that's in New York somewhere. And I know this is a sin. So I formally apologize to Guy Tang. If you don't measure what you're working with, I'm telling you guys, I've seen people where they'll tell you just eyeball it and you're not gonna get consistent consistent color deposit and perfect results and it always comes down to people blaming the performance of the color. And I'm also really sorry Brad Mondo. I don't know if that was the best decision. It's not the worst but you know we'll see. Maybe he'll finally roast me in this video. Please tag him in everything. I just really want to be roasted Brad. The next instructions are apply the mixture and leave on as usual. Rinse off carefully and then shampoo. And then basically after that you do step two for five to 10 minutes, rinse it off and then condition your hair since this is not a conditioner. So now I'm going to bleach my hair as normal. Definitely wear gloves when you're bleaching your hair or working with peroxide. Those will burn you. I have a few tutorials on my channel that explain how to bleach your hair. I have one for beginners and one that's very thorough and detailed that I'll link in the description box down below. So if you need more information on how to choose your developer volume, what to expect, best practices and techniques, you can watch all of those. But this video is mostly to test the all HD Plex. And if I added everything else in this video, it would be so long. But I'll give you a summary. Pretty much my best tips are only bleaching your virgin hair at the roots and try not to overlap on already bleached areas. It's also recommended to leave a quarter or an eighth of an inch away from your scalp so you don't get hot roots because the bleach will swell and it will bleach faster because the heat of your scalp speeds up the process. But I usually don't because I'm always going full blonde anyways and doing two rounds so it doesn't matter for me. But if you're not, then that will make a difference. And also, lastly, make sure everything is saturated evenly. After bleaching my roots, I'm putting on conditioner on the rest of my hair so the bleach doesn't really touch it or move around once I have the shower cap on and it stays hydrated. So I'm putting my hair up in a shower cap, leaving it on for 30 minutes or whenever you see that your hair is done processing. Then once it's done, I'm rinsing it all out and shampooing like the directions said then applying step two of the bond reinforcer and leaving it in my hair for 10 plus minutes before rinsing it out and using conditioner. From there, I'm letting my hair air dry and rest before the next day of bleaching. I always wait as many days as I can between doing the first and second round of bleach because I like to let my hair rest and do a protein treatment and conditioning treatment in between. And through experience, it always turns out less damage when you do treatments like that in between and wait some time. And for the second round, I'm doing the exact same method as I did for the first round. So this is how my hair turned out after doing two rounds of bleach. I am very happy with the results. It came out 
super, super white and even, and it just lifted. Even after one round, it was almost done. So that was amazing. I am really going to try and work on getting my hair to lift completely and evenly in one round now that I see that it might be possible, but I attribute that to the bleach being great quality as far as lifting goes. So as far as all HD Plex goes, I think that the product worked well. My hair seems very healthy and still has its texture and it kind of feels like glossy even. It feels really nice and I don't feel like it was breaking. I don't feel like it's like crusty or crinkly or frizzy or doesn't really feel that damaged to me. Is it better than the Ion one? I'd have to say no. I really like the Ion one. It always turns out great. I think this is probably maybe comparable. Definitely not better though. Is it better than Olaplex? No, but it is a cheaper alternative that you can use if you're going to be doing your hair at home, especially if you can't get Olaplex because it's not sold to consumer. But as far as cost goes, I'm going to break that down and we will see if it's even worth buying this. So the travel version of Olaplex, the smallest one that you can get, comes with a 3.3 fluid ounce for step one, and then step two has two bottles that come in the kit and those are both 3.3 ounces so the total amount of ounces in the kit is 9.9 .9 ounces and if it costs $136 for 9.9 .9 ounces that comes out to be $13.74 per ounce for Olaplex. Now for all HD Plex it's 0.4 fluid ounces for the step one and then 0.5 fluid ounces for step two. So that comes out to be 0.9 fluid ounces for $7.85, which means per ounce, it's $8.72 for all HD plugs. So the Ion Absolute Perfection Duo Kit has two ounces for their step one, and then their step two is 3.3 ounces. So the total for that is 5.38 ounces, which costs $12.19. So that is $2.27 per ounce. So that is a lot better than the Olaplex and that is a lot better than All HD Plex and I have to say between Ion and All HD, Ion definitely takes the cake and not just because of the price. Also the kit that I used is for one application. So if you're going to do two rounds of bleaching your hair, you're going to need two sets, which is really annoying, but it also makes it seem like a lower price. But when you consider that you have to get two of them, it's not as good of a deal as you would originally think. I also think that quality wise, the Ion kit is better than the All HD. And in terms of price, Ion totally kills it four times cheaper. So would I recommend this product? I'd have to say no. Is it a good product? Yes. Is it a good price? Sort of. Not really when you break it down per ounce, but if it's all you have, then I would definitely say go for it. It's way better to use some sort of protection rather than just going in raw. So if you have all HD, if you have ion, if you have Olaplex, all of that is better than not doing it. So now that my roots are bleached and my hair is faded, it is time for my next color. I'm really excited about this one. The video will be on my Instagram, so don't forget to check out the description box down below and you can see all of my social media linked down there, including TikTok. So definitely check me out on there. I also have all of the links to the products that I used in the description box down below, as well as the products that are better than this product that I was reviewing today. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you all a happy, healthy life, and I will see you in the next one.